Well, here we go. We are about to start the Open Championship here for the Inter-Services Netball 2024. And it looks like, I didn't see what the toss was, but I think it's a Royal Navy centre pass, um, which will be Mab Davis there in the middle, co-captain of the Royal Navy team. Um, this Royal Navy team's got a bit of a new look about it. Um, you know, they did have two defeats last year, but the, the score in this game last year was 54 to the RAF and 45 to the Royal Navy. So expecting another close one? Yeah, I think we are. And one thing that the RAF bring that the other squads don't tend to is a zone for defending. OK. And it's really hard to break. And so hopefully the Navy have been practising that in their training. OK, so Mav Davis then from the Royal Navy to start off this Open Championship here at the Inter-Services Netball. And for those of you who haven't watched Netball before, this is a really fast game. You're going to struggle to keep up, but I hope we can uh, follow every ball. And uh, obviously my two experts with me will talk us through all the technicals. Ah, uh, that was great pressure from the area from literally straight away, giving um, a three-second ball for the Navy. And three seconds obviously is holding, so it means that they, they didn't couldn't find anyone to pass. Yeah, them. there are no op obvious options, so they uh, got a held ball from the umpire. So off a Royal Navy centre is first blood to the Royal Air Force. Faye Bates in there, pretty reliable there in the circle for for the RAF. Very yeah. confidence there for the RAF defence. They lead 19-6 here at all yeah. shots. What they really need is their centre ring attack to be catching that ball on the circle edge before they feed it in. That was that well was seen. Yes, that was a well seen by Danny, and that is uh, the end of the first quarter here. And the RAF lead 19 goals to six. Rebelling against, yeah. the, rebelling against the next generation. So 30 points to 15. So it's a clear cut half of their score. Royal Navy have had a great quarter, and that was lovely. Lovely set play there from Royal Navy. Yeah, another great goal. holes from the goal attack. She really just held to the last second there to get into the space. But it's definitely still advantage RAF, although they have... Over to Faye, lovely. Well taken. <laughs> I love the way they all just walk back to the centre. They just knew that just was Just presume, just yeah, presume. that's in. <laughs> and that's another goal for the RAF. 32-16. And we're into the last 15 seconds here of the second quarter. Do stay with us. This is going to be oh, oh, yes, lovely from Hetty. Oh, unfortunately, it doesn't go their way. But they, they've seen again. the clock and they just want to oh. pile it in. Can Faye get it in from there? Oh! oh. Amazing. Oh. What a way to finish. That's a, a, That's a great That's way to finish. Oh, Faye was Benson, so hard. take your... Yes, both of them. Absolutely brilliant down here in this circle, and that puts the RAF 33 points to the good, 33 goals to the good, to the Royal Navy 16 here at halftime. Um, Girls again, and you don't like throw your arm forward, so it's, uh, it's put your arm up. And yeah, up and no contact. Yes. yes. So that has won the ball back for the Royal Air Force, but Fitzpatrick on oh, the. Oh, that was lovely as well. Yeah, was lovely. Reverse hand. And that day, Fitzpatrick onto Baker. Karkowska and uh, this is working really well for the Royal Air Force if they can get it past Hetty again she was nearly in there and Fran wasn't happy yeah. out there so she <laughs> needed to do a one-two to get closer it's and, Faye uh, oh sorry sorry <laughs> sorry Faye <laughs> don't worry begins <laughs> with an F Faye Bateson then with another goal for the RAF and now it's 36-16 that's a good 20 goal difference now <laughs> as a family that was another great role from Hetty you can see the frustration now on uh, Faye's face yeah. she knows those balls shouldn't be given but they're still being given oh it's a bit of a throw to nothing but it's worked out well for Royal Air Force and uh, sorry the Royal Navy and we finished oh, it with a lovely goal there it looks like the Navy are lining up some subs here we go okay so just before the tournament and Sam very helpfully distributed the uh, interview questionnaires. She's racing skeleton. She reached 80 miles per hour head first. So there you go. I think that's one of the sports you need your head tested for, but it does look fun. On I always, ice. I always find that women in the women in the military always <laughs> end up doing a lot of random sports. Yeah, brilliant. There's not very many of us. And they do more than team. one, which is even better. Yeah. Like, I'll meet them on the ski. I'll meet them on the ski slopes, and be like, oh, "I'm off to do skeleton next week." Of course you are. Sure. <laughs> that was a lovely pass into the goal attack. 
So Lizzie did put a screen on, so mm -hmm. she uh, left space behind her for the goal to have to drive into. And I want to say uh, centre saw the space and put the ball straight into it. There. So Lizzie probably, possibly, with the last say of the game, does she know she's only got six seconds yeah. to play? Oh, so and the ball's out. Wait for it. But that is the Hooter for the final score. It is 63 to the Royal Air Force and 30 to the Royal Navy. And there's hugs all round. I'm sure there was some uh, fairly mean words said during that, but... Um